Hello, today I'm going to be testing the question of does a flavor of a fruit pop affect its melting time? My hypothesis is that yes, the flavor of the fruit pop does affect its melting time. Let us commence this thing. The first thing that you're going to need in this experiment is a nice solid surface to actually do it on. Hence, this is why I'm showing this table. This is a nice solid surface that you can put your experiment on and do your run your experiment on. The next thing you do after you set up or you at least get your flat surface is that you get three plates. It does not really matter the size of the plates as long as it just, you know, fits the actual thing. Next thing that you do now is you evenly thread out the plates throughout the solid surface. Just move this over here. Get this plate right here. Get this plate right over there. Get this plate right here. Next thing that you do after you set up your plates is that you want to go get your timer. Now, you can use amounts of things as your timer. You can use an actual timer or, as what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to be using my iPad as the timer. Or the stopwatch, at least. Once you've done this, next thing you do is you go get the ice pops. For this experiment, I'm using the, the flavors of Fruit Pop. Lemon, grape, and tangerine. I was going to use cherry, but then I realized that we don't have any cherry left. After you return to your surface, you grab the fruit pops. Now you need to place them all upon the plates. Next thing that you do is that you take the plastic off them. Now that you have all the pops without them, the plastic on them, you now start the timer. And now what you have to do is you have to wait until all of these fruit pops have melted. It was at this moment within the experiment that I realized that I could have improved it by having them all separately done. I realized this after I continued the filming, so I just decided, hey, I get them all three done and I know they're probably gonna take a while, so hey. Might as well get them all done at once. Now with all of the pops thoroughly melted, we look towards our timer. Lap one represents the time in which the lime one was, um, or took. Lap two represents the tangerine. Lap three represents the grape, and lap four just means when I actually stopped it. As you can see in this download, or in this downloaded graph, this is the graph of the amount of time that it took. Of course, grape being the one with 44, and then lime being the one with 41, and then tangerine being the one with 42. Now, in order for this experiment to be complete, we have to complete this process three more times. Okay then, let's do it. In order to first complete the actual process though, if you can use the same plates as last time, but you have to wash them off which is exactly what I'm going to do. As you can see, all of these plates have all the stuff on them. Now, as you can see, all the plates are now clean. We are now going to put new ice pops on them with the snap of my fingers. 
And now we have to start the timer again, as you can see. As you can see, boom. Now we just have to wait. Now with all of these melted, we go over to the timer and we see that this is our data. And then we implement it into the graph, which is right here. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna snap my fingers again and the pops are gonna appear. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to go over to the timer again Press reset and then start. And now we have to wait again. Now, as the final one has been completed, what we have to do now is we have to get all our data onto the table and then... In conclusion, uh, my hypothesis, I'm pretty sure, was correct, as not all of them ended up in the exact same area. I can presume that that means that the flavor did something. When it comes to why I actually chose to do this experiment, it's just because it sounded cool. I like it because, well, first of all, it gave me a big break in between every single time when they were like, you know, melting. And second off, it's just, I think that the time lapses in between the, the things is really cool.